Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. I'm going to let you know what's going on in your love life, how your person is feeling, if you're dealing with someone, your near future, what their next move is going to be and so on. These are general messages. So they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. What's going on with Scorpio? The person that Scorpio has in mind, show me how they're feeling about Scorpio. Show me their next move. Show me their energy. King of Wands, Page of Wands. There could be a Cancer for some of you or have Cancer in their chart somewhere. Wow, this is... Okay. It could be a Sagittarius. We have the Knight of Cups here as their overall energy. We have someone coming towards you. Um, they're feeling to you the king of wands this is a lot of passion there is um, there's love there but there's also passion I feel like it could be a strong physical attraction as well with the king of wands it's not necessarily the king of cups so it's more like along the lines of attraction passion intensity okay we have the chariot and the page of wands I see this person, like they, they seem to want to talk through things. They seem to have something to say with the page, but I've seen you as a chariot. So this person, they are kind of unsure of what direction you're wanting to go when it comes to this connection. They see you as, um, they see forward movement with you, but they, they can't really, they're not predicting your next move that well. They're having trouble figuring out what exactly you want or where you're going with this so we have the will of fortune ten of cups the fool and the high priestess i see that they want a new beginning here with the fool they're wishing for this ten of cups so this is someone who does want to um get back to this ten of cups type of relationship if it was that way they seem to want the emotional fulfillment here. So things could be lacking in that area and they're trying to get back to that. However, this person has a fear of your unpredictability. Is that a word? The fact that you're unpredictable, the fact that they don't know what you could do, what your next move could be. Could you suddenly leave them? You know, they have a fear of the fact that you may have been very changey recently maybe you change your mind a few times or you've had mixed feelings you gave them mixed signals they seem to be confused about what you want and whether or not they should put their put their emotions on the line here because they feel like you could you could just change your mind you know um, we have the temperance card and we have the two of wands eight of swords this person they plan to wait i find this to be annoying i feel like you might find this annoying that they they're planning to wait and i feel like this is them really playing it safe because as i said they don't know what to expect from you they want to come forward knight of cups but there's they, they just feel like you could you could shift on them Maybe you've done that in the past, I don't know, but they seem to be afraid of that. So they kind of wait patiently to see um, like how you're moving, if you're moving towards them, if you're not moving towards them, you know, they, they just feel safer taking it slow. So we have the two of wands, position of what you need to know. So they are contemplating reaching out to you with this um because the knight of cups is here so they do have an offer but there's a hesitation so you're needing to know that this person is like looking at their phone they are um thinking about saying something but then they think about this unpredictable 
this unpredictable behavior, you know, the, the fear of getting hurt, the fear of being, you know, just dropped. And they hesitate. They have the Eight of Swords as the outcome. So here's where um, it gets complicated because they're keeping themselves stuck. I feel like you know this as well because you're probably thinking, well, they should just do this or do that or say this or say that. But for this person, it's just more complicated. Like for them, it's a risk. And people like to hide their, their emotions and you know their fears especially they don't like to be vulnerable so you may not know that this person has a major fear of rejection that, you, that they really fear that you might hurt them and so they hold back to you it's like just do this or just do that but to them it's like what if Scorpio changes his or her mind on me after I open up to them let me see what is their message to Scorpio? What's this person? What does this person want to say to Scorpio? What do they want to say to Scorpio? Judgment. I'm making the decision once, once and for all, to turn this around. It wasn't you. It was me. I am to blame. I accept full. I accept fault for this and we have I was misguided and I was blinded and I could not see straight I feel like that's something to do with the past here but they know that they're keeping themselves stuck you know because they have the fool in the center the fool is about taking a risk to them this is a huge risk they may or may not take the risk. I do see them waiting a little bit and thinking about it a lot, but will they will they take the leap? Let me see the other side of the story. Tell me what's going on with Scorpio. Actually, wait. Show me the near future for Scorpio. What's going to happen in the near future for Scorpio? Queen of Cups. The World. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. I see you really healing. There's some type of completion here. Some of you might decide to be single. Some of you might just really work on yourself and put a lot of focus on yourself in the near future i feel like if you end up single it's a choice i feel like you some of you are choosing to take time for yourself why the world three of cups some of you may suspect the party situation so you decide to leave some of you have a fear of that happening. I'm getting the message that some of you just feel more comfortable being single or working on yourself and not being more not being vulnerable. So for some of you, it could be that you decide to take a break or be single. But let me see. Show me Scorpio on the situation. How do they feel? What's the outcome for Scorpio? Yeah, you're trying to make a logical decision when it comes to this relationship. That's why some of you might choose to be single because you may feel like it's just a smarter thing to do to take a break to heal you could be dealing with a Sag maybe a sagittarius we have temperance we could be dealing with an aquarius or a libra um you're both seeing this relationship as a page of wands is it that you've been on a break and both of you are kind of 
seeing it as taking 10 steps back. I do see that both of you have things to get off your chest. There could have been a conversation that was unfinished. Some of you may have not gotten a response in the middle of a conversation with this person or you didn't respond to them. There seems to be some type of unfinished business when it comes to communication. But um, you're seeing them as the star. Sorry, there was a loud noise just now right outside my window. So I was saying that some of you kind of look at how much work it will take for this relationship to work and you definitely feel like taking a break. I also see that you're seeing the work that needs to be done on yourself and some of you decide to take a break because of that. But I see you wanting to, you know, not do anything, kind of just stand still and focus on what you have going on. The three of wands in the center, we have the two of pentacles. So you know that this person is coming back. That's why you have the three of wands here because this is about waiting for something you know is coming. This could have to do with the, the fact that there's this unfinished conversation that you guys had. So you know that this person may reach out to you soon or try to continue the conversation. However, what's blocking is a two of pentacles Either you felt like they were juggling or that this person, like you, you may feel like you just can't trust them. And I feel like it affects um, you, you know, it really affects, it, it really affects, it. <laughs> it really affects you when you um, think about the lack of trust or the fact that you feel like you can't trust this person. Um, the justice card here as your next move in the ten of pentacles four of wands i see that you you plan to give this person what you feel they deserve with justice so if you feel like they des they don't deserve you you are going to take yourself away from them until they prove themselves basically that like that's the main message i'm seeing with justice card you plan to be fair if they've done you wrong you are going to choose yourself you're not going to give yourself to them anymore is what i'm seeing okay um the thing is this person has a high priestess blocking so it's like your intuition is telling you something and you're going with it and that's what's um getting in this person's way because you might decide to go your own way you know, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, um, the Four of Wands. I see you like, because you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. These are cards that are very stable. This is all about stability. And the Ten of Pentacles is commitment. So in the position of what you need to know, it could be that things do improve with this person. Um, it could be that it leads to something more stable. I feel like that would be after you take a break though. I feel like that will be after they, you know, realize what they could be losing and finally manage to take the leap and reach out. Let's see what comes up for you. What comes up for Scorpio? What's the message? Scorpio. Confusion. Surrender. Mirroring and manipulation. So they may have been playing games in the past. There may have been some game playing. Um, but you guys mirroring each other. I feel like this has to do with them not coming forward. So you end up just saying, you know what, I'm not moving. I'm not going forward either. Um, there's a lot of confusion. And I feel like that's because of the unfinished conversation. What's the love messages for Scorpio? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. You know what message I get from this, release your ex? Some of you may still have pain from past relationships, could have been multiple relationships, from like multiple exes where you didn't heal from those relationships in the past. And they're kind of spilling over into every relationship going forward. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you're needing to heal. That's why some of you are feeling like, okay, I need to take a break because 
I don't trust people anymore. So some of you might still have trust issues from past relationship and the relationship before that and the one before that. And you just feel like you can't trust anyone. That's what you're needing to clear. Because you know Scorpio, you don't forget nothing. So you have to kind of go back and work through those issues. We have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I know you Scorpio, like you don't really go to your friends about your problems. You deal with your problems on your own, in secret, like in the in the dark corner. So I don't know what your friends can really help you with. I mean, I just don't know Scorpios to, to run to people for help. But maybe there's something that your friends can help you with. Maybe it's advice or maybe you just... <laughs> Maybe you ask them something and you say, you know, I'm asking for a friend because <laughs> you don't want them to know. But let's see. What's the advice for Scorpio? Oh, okay. Your commitment is being tested. So it could be that this is a test. I mean, you are having an issue communicating with each other. Maybe it's just one of those things. I haven't checked to see if we're in a retrograde. I don't think we are. The adjustments are required. What else? A time to give rather than take. The energy is gaining momentum. So something's getting ready to happen here. They may be getting ready to take the leap towards you. But I feel like you are needing to focus on yourself for a little bit. I just feel like you have that urge to do so. It doesn't mean you're going to like do it for months or years i just feel like you need a break the commitment's being tested you both think you think you think they're ignoring you they think you're ignoring them so the commitment's being tested with this attraction card here you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully i feel like this connects to when you do you know your alone time and you you heal and you start living in the moment. You spend in this time by yourself, just, you know, de-stressing and relaxing. That's when, and I say this all the time, this is when you start attracting, you know, it's always when you're minding your own business, when you're not looking for love or not trying to fix your relationship is when things start to just flow to you. Your person comes around and they want to make the effort. You know, you start attracting opportunities. This is the end. This is the mode you need to be in when you want to attract good into your life. It's when you focus your energy inwards. It's when everything starts to run back to you. So it's definitely needed. If you have been thinking about taking that time, then you're definitely right. You should take the time because it's going to really benefit you. You should give this person what they deserve. Um, even if it's them not deserving you for some time or you needing your space. But for this person, I do see, I, I don't see a bad person. I just see someone who's really confused, afraid of getting hurt, afraid that you could change your mind on them. Especially if you've done that in the past, then you'll, you know that this person doesn't want that to happen again. But they do want this Ten of Cups. They do pick up the card. They do want this. They do want this reconnection here. But they are unsure of you. And that's keeping them stuck. Okay, so Scorpio, this is what I'm seeing for you. I'm being drawn to this card again. The energy is gaining momentum. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you need to know that something's getting ready to happen they're getting ready to come forward i don't know maybe it's like sometimes i see in the comments that people hear from their person while watching the reading so i don't know maybe maybe it's a strange world we live in so scorpio this is what i'm seeing for you 
Um, check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you got something out of this. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.